official Red Hood character. Every single one of these that they've shown has been fucking potato. Where it makes you scratch your head. Oh, what did they show here? They did the 10 minute of a 15 minute start gameplay. They're definitely trying to fucking... They're definitely marketing the game hard. Being dead, then brought back to life. It changed me. Some days I barely feel human. Let alone a better man. But Gotham City needs me. This guy literally looks like Deadpool. Almost got it. But like more buff or some shit. Nah, man. The these trailers don't do it. It's just an intro on the character, but... This is what I trained for. Bruce gave me purpose. And I'll go to hell and back to see it through. Got them knights. Pre order yeah. now and get the 233 custom Bat Cycle skin. Oh! You know, what's weird is like, it's literally like they made a game off of the filler characters. Like, this, this is a weird game where you look at all four of these people and you're like, Ugh, I guess I'll play this guy. <laughs> it's not like, oh my god, I'm gonna play this dude. Oh, it's like, uh, this guy's all right. This guy's okay. She's okay. He's all right. I guess I'll play her. Literally. There's no one who's like, oh, do I play this guy or do I play this guy? Oof. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of like, eh. They're all kind of like, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's weird. Nightwing is fucking legit. Okay, bro. Relax. Oh, shit. Dude, I'm, this is another game I'm going pro in. I'm pretty sure this is coming out, like, this month, but they haven't said shit. Oh, my God. It's coming out on the 17th. Why does that date sound like there's something happening? Wednesday. Thank you, Nintendo. Oh, fuck. Get rolling. Eating. And growing. Yes. Kirby's Dream Buffet. One day, the Dream Fork suddenly shrinks Kirby. No. To enjoy this world of sweets to the fullest, Kirby gets rolling into a competition. Up to four players can play together. What? Eat the most strawberries across three game types and aim to become the biggest Kirby. I thought this was online. What the fuck? The first game type is race. I don't have, I don't know four people. Eat strawberries scattered throughout the stage and Kirby will grow. Oh the bigger your Kirby is, the more strength you'll have. The key to tasting victory, copy food abilities. <laughs> Eating these will give Kirby palatable powers. Sweep up oodles of strawberries with tornado. Dude, Nintendo. Or easily slip through walls with jelly. Use them at the right time to cream the competition. That move looks the OP. Goal first, and you'll have a mountain of strawberries all to yourself. The second game type is mini game. Eat as many strawberries as you can before time is up. Strawberries might fall from above or be hidden in boxes. Who knows where they'll appear? Try to get as many as you can. Finally. Put your strawberries on the line in the final showdown, Battle Royale. Oh yeah, if you know bro! The on the stage, you might be able to steal all of their strawberries. Use copy food abilities exclusive to Battle Royale, like drill 
and stone. And A for a huge haul. Dude, what the In fuck? The end, the biggest Kirby will be crowned the winner. Is this online? What the hell? Earn different rewards based on the number of strawberries eaten. Costumes can change Kirby's appearance. I want the fucking bird. You can also select color variations and play with your preferred Kirby. Collect character treats featuring characters from across the Kirby series and use them as the pedestal at the starting line. Dude. I was excited for this. More stages can be played depending on how many strawberries you have overall. Wow. Pass the Joy-Con controller to a friend for two-player local Content co locked behind strawberries. Play local wireless okay. mode four-player gourmet festival. Or compete in mouth-watering matches yes! online with up to four players around the world. Fucking, I thought this was going to be like 20 players, all right? I was, I was literally, when I saw this, I was like, look, Nintendo, all right? I know we've had our fucking faults. I know... Your whole fucking networking infrastructure has one fucking guy with a cum stained cubicle. But listen, I will give you the benefit of the doubt. Look, just give us 15 players. We don't need 100. We don't need a fucking 100. Just give us 15 players, all right? I, I just threw a small number. I wrote 15 on a fucking receipt and passed it over. And I was like, we'll be fine with that. We'll be fine. You know, I lowballed the living shit out of it. Even 12, even 12. Fuck no, they go with four. Four people online. Holy shit, Nintendo. What the fuck are you doing? A smorgasbord of sweetness awaits. Which Kirby will take the cake? I bet this shit will still lag. Kirby's Dream Buffet. Available August 17th, only on Nintendo Switch. Whatever, I'm still gonna play it. This game looks right up my alley. I'll take it, guys. I'll take it. All mine. 17th is a Wednesday. I swear there's some game coming out on the 17th. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Whoa, they released a 4K trailer? What the fuck? Yeah, it's, I know. Uh, this is Saints Row is kind of weird. I can't tell if like I'm gonna play it, but I don't know. I I can't. I've never gotten into a Saints Row before. What it looks like? A brilliant plan gone off the fucking rails. You think it's some pendejo messed up, and now all these poor bastardos are gonna choke on an all-you-can-eat buffet of bullet tacos? Well, I promise you, everything will work out exactly the way it's oh, supposed to. Oh yeah, I made to. my guy Just though. Keep your eyes and ears open. The next few minutos could mean the difference between becoming Santo Elasso's numero uno crime boss or just another notch in some punk stolen gun belt. I forgot. So how does an up and coming gun for hire like you wind up in a hot mess like this? Let's rewind. You might not know it yet, but you and your friends are about to found an institution, the Saints. And if you want to be your own boss, you're going to need to bust some heads. First step on the journey is launching a startup. I mean, the fun kind. Illegal, criminal, and not exactly on the up and up. Wait, did I customize a villain or the the, who I customize is gonna replace her? Try to keep up this time. I forgot. This dusty jewel is a hot spot for striking a reach from the glittering high rises of Lakeshore right down to the dusty streets of Mercado and across okay. the sprawling desert that guards our city like the angel of death. It's the ultimate sinner's playground, ripe with opportunity to make a quick buck. But nothing comes for free here. Meet the factions. In this corner, you've got Los Pantaros, Sergio's gang. They run a smuggling enterprise out of the Mercado and Barrio districts. They'll have no hesitations about getting up in your business so watch your back around i'm curious there. how the driving is in the other corner the idols now these gatos are even more local i mean just look at how they're dressed these kids take homicidal anarchy to the edm club they don't even have a leader just a faceless group known as the collective they won't be stingy about investing in ammo so be hot when you cross paths and guess what? There's always another corner. Atticus and his marshals take privatized defense technology to some seriously offensive levels. Capture and control is their motto. You want to try your human luck against their advanced assets? Oh, you can. Just don't underestimate him. 
Anyway, I don't have to tell you this. Ain't that your former employers? <laughs> Way, way out in the desert, there is another wild bunch you might cross cacti with. All I'll say is if you do, bring your duct tape and cardboard. Ah! Oh my god. So you came to Santo Eles with a head full of dreams and a drive to hustle. You got the skills to make the kills, but you're not alone. Eli will be your strategic business associate. Got on him to invest the profits from all that blood, sweat, and lead into your startup. And in case you're ever looking for gift ideas, he's got this thing for pump shorties. When you need a fast getaway from trouble, Nina's right around the corner. She's not burning past cops, she's in the garage making sure the gang's ribs are street illegal. And remember to enjoy the good times while you're out there hustling. Your shirt hating roommate Kev is there for you. He's a combination DJ, chef, and all around thrill junkie. But watch your back, Saints. This reminds me of a combination of watchdogs and, and GTA. This hitman has an eye on Santo Alesso, too. You really think you have what it takes to bring me in? Holy shit. Every kingdom needs a castle, right? Before long, you'll be living large on 3rd Street in your Saints HQ. This is where you'll run all your major operations. You'll find it stocked with every amenity you'll need to expand your criminal empire. I don't know where this is going but it sounds like my kind of stupid. We all have a story, and while I can't predict everything that will happen in yours, I do know that you are destined for a hell of an adventure as you and your saints rise to power. Find the twists and hard turns, and you'll emerge victorious. Yeah, I can Stice, see, I, yeah, just cause too, sure. Respect, and all the fuck you money you could ever dream of. How you carve this road to success is up to you. Your criminal ventures taking over the city are where you'll exercise your free will as you shape your own empire from scraps. You want hot new skills, nines, and fits? Defraud the wealthy, open a job shop. Was it Saints Row like Spark you were like goals. a superhero? Always remember, even criminals pay for things sometimes. Drop by local businesses to purchase, customize, and upgrade yourself and your valuables. You wanna look like the I don't think there's super I don't think there's powers in this game. So deep you need a scuba tank. Well, you know, I have a lot of practice and pent up rage. I hear that. By the way, I hope you're starving for some authentic southwestern combat. You can solve plenty of problems with bullets. Others call for a more bespoke approach. Don't be afraid of getting creative. You may even want some weaponry that'll bend the rules like you. If things get too hard, you know you can always call in friends from the outside. Of course, BFFs are also prone to messing with each other on occasion. Yeah, honestly, Maintain my main curiosity is the gameplay, how it feels. The criminal ladder, I highly recommend starting this trailer's alright, though. It'll be for business as much as pleasure. As the boss, you can pretty much take your pick of makes and models. But you don't gotta settle for the standard trim. Get creative. Turn heads with some custom extras. No one ever said it had to be street legal, hermana. Blue sky's the limit. I don't know. I don't know. So, are we good? You understand the plan? Sounds like you're ready for some grande size life changes, jefe. And Santo Eleso aims to deliver. Anyway, as I was saying before, Everything will work out just fine. Okay, this shit comes out this month. All right. Okay, then. Hmm. I don't know what Saints Row was the best. The first one? Two and three were really good. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, Way of the Hunter? Way of the Hunter is a true next-generation hunting experience from developer Nine Rocks Games. It all begins here, a lodge owned by your grandfather, who taught you Granddaddy. everything you need to know about hunting My when you were young. Papa. These skills and more will be put to the test as you step in and run the family business for him while he takes a break, recovering from an illness. The game is set in two vast territories, each featuring 55 square miles of open world terrain. Experience the ancient hunting grounds of the Pacific Northwest. From elk and deer to waterfowl, from mountain to valley, the Pacific Northwest showcases diversity of challenge and the very best of American hunting. You also test your hunting skills in Transylvania. Once Transylvania? One of the most popular hunting destinations for European nobility. It becomes your Wait, is that true? Is Transylvania a popular hunting ground for European... I forgot what the fuck the last word was. Is that true? Is that like a thing? Yes, I live here. Really? I didn't know that. Not really. I'm from Romania. 
hunting paradise to track everything from wild boar to gray wolves from the deepest forest. Bro, you're from Romania, but you're a fucking gamer, bro. You're watching streams. You are the opposite of who would hunt. To rolling plains, this territory is steeped in history. These remarkable landscapes are controlled by a sophisticated system that simulates the life cycles of two and a half thousand animals in the Pacific Northwest and another 3,000 in Transylvania, featuring a 24-hour day-night cycle and true-to-life flora and fauna. Way of the Hunter's realistic atmosphere immerses you in the wilderness and the I got a gig for this game like next week. Before. I'll be honest. In Way of the Hunter, you can follow the story. But this looks pretty, this looks like a solid hunting play. game. You know, you the can't deny. Starts at it looks like it has potential. Where you'll acquire rifles and stock up on gear and ammunition to prepare for the hunt. It's your base where you'll work to supply ethically hunted meats to elite restaurants that require the highest quality standards. Clients from high-end local restaurants will reach out to you. And it's your job to bring home the Ivan. game and pocket the cash. You Ivan just sent this whole life story. By accessing the objectives menu, where you can track markers, tasks, and jobs. In Way of the Hunter, you can choose from a wide variety of firearms, ranging from tried and trusted classics right through some of the most advanced contemporary sporting rifles on the market today. For every animal you hunt, there's a corresponding firearm. And say, for instance, the ideal weapon for hunting the roe deer is a tier four rifle. There are six firearms tiers, starting with shotguns at tier one and going up to tier six, which are the highest caliber firearms. Choose from the best officially licensed hunting gear available from leading manufacturers, including hunting rifles from Remington Firearms, Primos Calls, Reminds me of the Daisy, best Elfong 10 by 42 binoculars, but you're hunting. and ammunition from the likes of Remington and Federal. You can store all your gear back at the lodge or in the trunk of your car. In Way of the Hunter, there's more than one way to hunt game. You'll need to explore and gain a deep knowledge of the terrain to understand where animals are at different stages of their day. Learn their habits, their habitats, and where they eat, drink, and sleep. There are dozens of animal species, each modeled with realistic behaviors. For example, if a deer hears you running or trampling through brush heavily, it's easily spooked. Play smart and be light on your feet. I wonder if you can store Track the carcass in your car. Keep for signs of life on animal paths, such as footprints, droppings, and urine. To assist you, stand still and use the hunter sense feature, which highlights important elements in the environment. Of course, for a real challenge, you can play without hunter sense or customize the elements that'll be highlighted in your world to your preference. Successful hunters must use all of their abilities and senses. You can play the waiting game. Hunker down, stay silent, and listen out for sounds of life. Use hunting stands to watch out for animals to feed, water, or simply break cover. Callers can lure your target closer, but be careful. If the game catches wind of your scent, they'll be alerted to your presence and may move away. Now, however you choose to hunt, big game, small game, or birds, and whichever firearm and gear you use, you must be aware of your hunting pressure on the animals. If you hunt too often in the same zone, the animals feel your pressure and move on to another area. This will be a fun you've game to check the out. Game you're looking for, a moment of it truth looks chill. close. Looks like Use it's well binoculars built. Binoculars or your scope to determine the distance, ballistics, and shooting range. Once you're 100% confident, line up, take a deep breath, and it's a clean shot that's pierced at least one lung. If an animal is lethally wounded but still moving, use hunter sense to track it and complete the hunt ethically. Place a marker on the spot where the animal was hit and investigate for blood tracks. Guys, how else Pink do you get your fucking burger that you're it. eating right now? And now you must end the hunt. When you take a successful shot, you're presented with the shot review screen. Bullet cam shows detailed information about the hunt and how and where you can improve next time. It's important for hunters to only take the cleanest shot possible to eliminate suffering for the animal. That's the way of the hunter. Back at the lodge, you can display trophies from successful hunts. They'll increase their magnificence depending on the animal's fitness and age. See, th and this explanation trailer, this is what they should have done for Saints Row. Like, this is a breakdown of the game, you know? Animal habitats consist of groups that share a common average fitness value, which you can alter in two ways. 
Hunting low trophy score males will drive up the fitness value of the habitat, while hunting high score males that are better for the gene pool will pull it down and produce lower quality trophies over time. This will be a fun game to check out next week. The more you in Transylvania, the more areas you'll open up. Some regions have restricted access, and you'll need gonna to get play this on to Tuesday, hunt on them Saints by purchasing Raw on access Wednesday. or taking on jobs. It'll be fun. To navigate the vast world of the Way of the Hunter, you can use a variety of tools, including objective markers, fast travel and vehicles you can drive, store equipment in, and customize. You can also team up with friends or other hunters and venture out into the wilderness together to work as one. A new world of hunting awaits. Welcome to the Way of the Hunter. Coming soon to PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X and S. And S. That was that, that, honestly, bro, this is how they should do, this is how a game should do their explanation trailers. Like, that was like a concise ass, six minute fucking boom, boom, break down the game, good flow, tells you exactly what the fuck you're gonna be playing, you know? Even though this is like Way of the Hunter, it's kind of just like a, it's like a hunting game, you know? AAA games, even fucking Gotham Knights coming out the way they're marketing their game. Like, this is how you should do it. Like, that's 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 a solid-ass way of showing uh, what your game's about. Almost like a mini-tutorial. Yeah, it breaks down exactly what the fuck you're doing, you know? Or, like, what elements that you're going to be seeing. So, yeah, I mean, I'll check this out next week. I mean... <clears throat> It'll be interesting. Check out this indie game, but with very good animations. Okay, brah. Okay, brah. Okay, brah. Um, the next Fortnite event will be a collaboration with Dragon Ball. What the fuck? Can you literally pro- Wait. Can you literally play Cell with a Fortnite gun? What the fuck? It's pretty crazy though, like how many different IPs, Fortnite tags, you know? It's pretty fucking crazy. I mean, I'm assuming this is just gonna end up being like uh, the skins are in the game. Unless they're going all out like this is a huge event, like there's actually a fucking, the, the dragons in the sky. It makes no sense. What do you mean it makes no sense? That, that, what, you make no sense. Literally, Fortnite, despite the, whatever you feel about the game, they literally made their game a fucking sandbox for any company to come in and, uh, collab with them and advertise their IP and bring their fucking shit to a different, uh, style it's like such a it's so smart what are you even talking about dude why do you think there's all these fucking marvel characters and shit and then they collab with like movies and stuff too it's such a smart idea i think they're gonna go this like you can't deny this is pretty cool and you, and the graphic style fits dragon ball it has like that na anime style i mean they already did naruto of course fucking Dragon Ball was coming if they have Naruto. This is why gaming is dying. I don't think so, bro. I'm pretty sure gaming is at like an all-time fucking high beyond belief. But it's because you probably see things that... You're an old frog looking at gaming, you know? But this type of shit is fucking popping you can't deny might not be something you want to play but this shit's fucking huge i think he meant the quality is dying i still don't follow though okay that's a bigger discussion asshole all right fuck you what are you even saying this guy's saying gaming is dying after looking at a fortnite collaboration with dragon ball that makes no sense okay if you're looking at it from like a from fortnite and dragon ball it makes sense for them to collab. You can't really see... How do you get gaming as a whole from this is dying from this? I don't see that. Granted, you could argue gaming is definite... I mean, I don't know. I have games I'm looking forward to, personally. 
This gen has barely got into its stride. I mean, like, now, like, I grew up watching fucking Toonami and watching Dragon Ball. Like, I fucking did that shit every, every time it was on. But, like, now, obviously, this doesn't really get my blood boiling. But you can't deny this is literally the first fucking game in gaming history that Dragon Ball, one of the biggest fucking fran franchises... With some of the most notable fucking characters. Everybody knows who Goku is. Collabing with a game. So. It's more. An interesting. Look at where the industry is going. And how it's fusing with other shit. Even though. Like I don't lose my mind over Dragon Ball anymore. The originality is dying. I guess there's still enough games coming out that are interesting. I think the thing is you are a gamer that has played all the quote unquote original stuff and you put so much, so many hours into that original game that anything that tries to follow that formula and put their own twist on it you see as a copy of that previous game. And you're saying there's not enough original ideas. Sure. But. You can't look at it that way. You can't deny that gaming is extremely hard to fucking innovate on. And you can't even say. You, that's, why even, that's why Hollywood and movies are kind of the same way as well. There's so many remakes and then like sequels and not many super, super good original movies coming out as before. You could even say Cult of the Lamb. For example, Cult of the Lamb came out. Great fucking game. But you could be like, oh, it's just like Binding of Isaac. So uh, there's no originality there. But... You can't look at it like that. It's more like people, everybody's going to take formulas and put their own fucking mix on it. It's so fucking hard for innovation in these games now. Even like open world games and stuff. Half of these motherfuckers literally copy each other's ideas and then put their own twists on it. And then obviously it's like their own settings. Like how much... Uh, okay, for example, even like Tower of Fantasy came out. Everybody's gonna be like, oh, it's like a Genshin Impact clone. But there's still a shit ton of people who are gonna be interested in it and play it, even though you might not be interested in it. And then you look at Elden Ring. Elden Ring came out. That was like peak fucking hype. You can't deny, Elden Ring was probably the most hyped game. Okay, if you, if you break down game hype, Cyberpunk 27, 2077's hype was some of the most peak gaming hype ever. No denying. Elden Ring's hype was there, but in a different way. You have to be a bit more hardcore and a little more into it. Cyberpunk captured more people's hype because of what it was. Like, more people across gaming were fucking, like, going for Cyberpunk 2077. Elden Ring was a bit more hardcore gamer on the hype, but and Elden Ring delivered. But those two fucking games were literally the most peak fucking hype from a casual hype to a more hardcore gamer hype than anything else. And there's no other game right now that is in development or that has been announced with that level of fucking hype. Nothing. Other than GTA 6, but <sighs> GTA 6 is a stupid example because no shit, everybody plays fucking GTA. God of War, sure, but like <sighs> not at the same level. You guys are talking about sequels and shit right now. And GTA 6, obviously. I'm talking about original IPs. This guy says uh, gaming and originality is dying. You guys are talking about sequels right now that have already proven themselves, that have already 
have their fucking feet in the ground. We're talking about fucking new shit. Cyberpunk 2077 was new. Elden Ring was new. Even though Elden Ring is like Dark Souls. There's no fucking game coming out with that that makes you or that every fucking gamer is like, holy fuck. Even Elder Scroll 6, like you don't even know what it is yet. Like, they haven't... Didn't they just say they have barely even started development on Elder Scrolls 6? You're literally gonna be fucking... Gra- if you started college, you're a freshman in college, you're gonna be fucking graduating. And then Elden Ri- uh, Elder Scrolls 6 is gonna be coming out. Hogwarts Legacy is hyped, but not at the same level as Elden Ring and Cyberpunk. You're fucking high. Even though it's the first quote-unquote first legit Harry Potter game that is going fucking ham. Hasn't there been, like, one or two other Harry Potter older games on, like, console? It's not the same style of hype. It really isn't. Of course it's going to be popular. Of course people are going to play it. It's Harry Potter. But not the same level of the concentrated hype of Elden Ring. Bro, Riot MMO, they've had two fucking meetings. They just drew the first line. That's bullshit hype. That makes no sense. Breath of the Wild 2? That's, like, that's established. Every, bro, Zelda come, there's a new Zelda that comes out all the fucking time. I'm talking about original IP. Original IP. You guys are just, you guys are literally naming mid-hype games. Dark Tide, people are looking forward to. That is a mid-hype game. I'm talking about peak of fucking video game hype. Cyberpunk 2077 was peak of gaming hype. Starfield's hype is nowhere near Elden Ring's hype or Cyberpunk's hype. You're fucking high. No, it's not. Ashes of Creation is nowhere near the fucking hype of any of the other shit. The only people who are hyped about Ashes of Creation are like Twitch viewers, alright? Let's be real here. On Heavy Copium. Maybe Witcher 4. Alright, we have, we have lost this conversation. Motherfuckers talking about originality and now they're just naming every fucking sequel. Jesus Christ. All right.